Hello, welcome or welcome back to the lounge with Annette, where you might see a little bit of this and you might see a little bit of that. How you doing? Hey y'all, happy Monday, happy April the 1st. I don't do April Fool jokes, but it is April Fool, it's April 1st, which is April Fool's Day. Anybody know what that is and why is it even a thing? but that's another video. Okay. But today's video is going to be my me start in my three color challenge. And I've already started. I did the stems with um, the green gel pen. And now I'm getting ready to use my second color, which is blue. And I'm going to do that on video and um, just blue on video. And I'm going to talk about what I found out um, when it comes to gel pens because I like I mentioned in my last video I was going to do some research and see what how to use gel pens and it's really nothing to it you um, just do it the way you want to do it um, there's no right or wrong way but these are the things that I found out about um, using gel pens the gel pen where you get it from matters to really serious colorist and it's important to get if you're really serious about it it's important to get some really good ones where the ink glides really smooth because if you get some cheap uh, gel pens you you probably gonna run into the gel not going on the page or you pressing a little bit too hard to get the gel on your um, page and then you can cause your paper to rip so that's one tip that I found was to get some gel pens that are really good okay and the ones that I got is from Papermate and so far, these are good. I like these. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and invest in some more gel pens. And what else? Okay. So the next thing, well, the videos that I did watch, it was a lot of blending. And then all the other videos that I tried to look, I'm sorry. I'm concentrating. <laughs> All the videos I tried to watch, it was a lot of them. A lot of them were about blending and I'm not there yet, but I'm going to try it, especially when I finish this three color challenge. Oh, and I also need to make a correction from my last video where I said I watched a YouTuber and then I decided to do the three color challenge. The correction is I was introduced to this um, challenge prior to watching that channel. And the, the person who introduced it to me was Candace. Candace also did a three color challenge, which I did for the very first time. I think I posted it on my channel. I'm not sure. I think I posted it on my community or maybe I was just inside of the uh, Facebook group and posted it but she has a YouTube channel and she has a Facebook group and I'll be putting her information on the screen or in the description below but she was the very first one to show me about the three color challenge so I just wanted to make that correction and um, just include her in it as well Okay, so with that one being said, what else did I learn about? Oh, I was talking about blending. Yeah, I'm not there yet, but it is cute. It's really nice how people use their gel pens to blend. Okay, and another tip that I found out, especially when you're not using too good of, of gel pens, you know, the cheap kind, you can use a... You can have like a cloth next to you and you can just wipe the tip of it to get the ink to start all over again. Now, I wish I would have known that 
um, a while back because I did have gel pens and I thought that they would the ink was too dry and and it just wouldn't come out so I threw a lot of gel pens away or I gave I think I gave them away to my daughter and she's doing what she's doing with it so now that I know that if I do decide to get some gel pens um, that are not you know really good like you know you get them from like like a not a craft store maybe like a dollar tree or a five and below or uh, all these or someplace you just see a different gel pens I'll you utilize that knowledge now okay let's see what else did I fear find out while watching the videos um, oh, to get less ink on the um, page, you just hold your pen to the side a little bit so not too much ink comes out and saturates your paper. I found that out. And let me think, anything else that I found out? Hmm, no, that's just it. But, you know working with three colors is challenging but i still find it fun <laughs> i find it really fun and um basically you just do what you want you don't have to follow any type of you know guidelines or anything like that so if you want your leaves to be all different colors have fun with that so I am now going to skip this leaf because I'm going to turn that, make that red. Then I'm going to go to this one and color the blue here. Okay, so that's all that I found out about gel pens is that um, use quality gel pens. Um, take your time when you're coloring. Don't press too hard. Um, there's a trick to if you don't have quality gel pens to use to get the ink to flow again. Oh, there are some gel pens that are metallic and neon that I want to try. So I'm going to look into getting some of those. And if there was anything else that you know that you would like to share to help me out with learning how to use gel pens, Please, please feel free to put those, that information in the comment section and let's talk about it and see what I can do. Now, I'm not a professional. I'm just getting into coloring. I'm not just getting into it. I actually prefer color by numbers because I do not have an eye to paint something. I mean, paint something. <laughs> to color something that's just off my brain saying oh use this color this color be good with that i am not good with that so i need some direction so but you know what i am inspired to try to color without numbers so i guess you know what i'm not trying to rush into it <laughs> i'm gonna take my time and i'm going to i guess when I finish like a book or so, then I'll go to the store and get one of those a coloring book that's not number color by number and see if I can do it. I'm really interested in the blending of gel pens and blending is really good. When I saw her do it, it was really nice. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna rewatch the video and try it. Okay, let's see. Anything else? No, I don't have any too much or nothing. I those that's oh they said that gel print gel take a long time to dry, so make sure that when you're coloring, you're coloring from left to right if you're right-handed, and of course from right to left if you're left-handed. I'm right-handed, so I'm coming from left to right, so I won't smear the ink. That was important because I didn't do that, but I've learned it. I remember working with it and I was going this way and I was just like, gel was all over my hand. I was like, oh, I didn't know it was like that, but now I do. So 
and learning is half the battle, right? Okay, so I'm not going to um, hold you too long because I have more leaves that I need to color. And I guess, I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. I don't think it's going to take me a week to do. Today is Monday, so I'll probably have an update. I'm going to say Friday. Yeah, I think I'll be done or finishing up on Friday. So until my next video, I shall see y'all later. Y'all have a happy April 1st and don't let nobody fool you. Bye. <laughs>